So what do you know about MPOs? Well, MPOs are nonprofit organizations. Everybody knows that. That means that if there is any profit, it has to be reinvested into the service. But this doesn't mean they should be wasting money, correct? Let's look at one of these MPOs that recently went somewhat viral on Twitter because of the way they've been using their money. So this picture here, you can see they're in uh, some woods and some forest camping space. You can see the tent, you can see the stuff uh, for cooking. Uh, you can see there the van with the name of the MPO there, Bond project, you would think, okay, this is a skill up project. That's what they claim. So what does that mean? It means they should be using this for skill up to gain some extra training, to gain some extra skill, to gain something that'd be useful to their work. And since this group goal is to help women in need, we would love to know how this camping in the woods is actually helping the workers get the special expertise for assisting these women in need. Now, they don't mention this in their post, but we can see here from Himasora Kane post uh, that he says, uh, apparently they seem to have spent 15,000 yen for two nights, but they account with something like 120,000 yen. That's almost like a thousand dollar. Of course, people have been asking, um, for what? What is the skill that they developed that is so necessary? For them to spend this much money. This is a non-profit, but it doesn't mean they should be wasting money. This is another picture uh, from Paper House Twitter user. So on this picture, we can see these girls that they've been uh, going to this Shimokitazawa restaurant, which it's pretty expensive because it says here that it's between 4,500 yen to 10,000 yen. That's really expensive for Japan. And so these three people from the MPO, they went and had dinner or lunch there, I guess, lunch. Doesn't say, uh, is this for acquiring any skills? It'd be interesting to know. Now, you have to know, I've asked this uh, MPO to talk to me, to, to make an interview. I said, you know, I was going to send you some questions. I don't like some questions. I can always decide not to answer. And uh, I've been waiting for days and days. And they still haven't answered my email, which is kind of weird because usually MPOs, they do respond. I'm sure that they have something to say, look, this is now how it seems. We actually went there for actual training. We went to the restaurant because we had an important meeting. You should explain the stuff. You're getting public money, so you have to be responsible for that. I am trying to update uh, uh, the English-speaking people of what's going on right now. So there is still this investigation going on. How these MPOs are managing their money? Is there a public organization that get their money from taxpayers? It's very interesting to see the movement that it's been created online but all these, uh, say, citizens uh, investigators, citizens journalists, uh, they try to look for data and numbers and facts online. So this is very unique. I mean, I wouldn't imagine anything like this happening in Italy, for example. I'm Italian, so I know Italy very well. And MPOs especially are very protected groups because of their nature, because they seem to be doing good. They are regarded as uh, untouchable, so to speak. And the fact that in Japan... Uh, People like on their free time are trying to investigate on where their tax money are ending up to. I think this is fascinating and even more incredible. Of course, we already talked about this is the neglect from the mainstream media. This is a, a real movement from the people to try to fill in the work of what other institutions, other watchdogs should be doing. That is explaining to the public uh, how these organizations are using their money. This operation has been filled up by citizens. I found this amazing. And there will be more updates on this, of course, in the future. Still hope that this bond project, uh, MPO, will answer my email. And hopefully we will know from their voice what actually is going on and how they have been using their money.